Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how you can run these large language models locally by downloading them on your local machine and using your own hardware. Uh, this method works with all, almost all of the open source models such as Okunia, Alpaca, Llama, Dolly, uh, WizardLM, StableLM, and you name it. Uh, the tool we are going to be using is called Text Generation Web UI from Ubabuka. It's actually an amazing tool which has supports for a number of different models. As now, this is a pretty amazing tool because you can simply add a model to it and you use the same web UI. Uh, and their goal is to become the automatic 1111 of uh, text generation. So if you have played around with stable diffusion, there is an amazing tool called automatic 1111 that lets you uh, use multiple stable diffusion models in a single web UI. And this web UI has some really amazing features. So as I said, uh, it's a graphical user interface. You can set it up so that it looks like uh, OpenAI's playground. And the great thing is there's actually a role playing capabilities. So you can uh, actually set up different characters uh, and do a role playing. So this is pretty neat. And then as I uh, alluded to before, it supports the instruct mode for different models that you see. Another great feature that I'm going to be showing you in a uh, future video is you can actually combine this or integrate this together with stable diffusion. So you can send in images uh, and generate audio responses from your text generation using 11 Labs API or any of the other text to speech converters. Now, the great thing about this tool is you can actually run it both in CPU and GPU mode. So if you have a powerful GPU, it's amazing. But if you want to run it on a CPU, you can still do that. Uh, and it also supports uh, the 4-bit GPT Q4 mode. So that's also helpful if you have uh, a weaker hardware. So in this video, I'm going to be walking you through the installation process of the text generation web UI. And then I will show you how you can uh, download and use models in locally. Uh, for this specific example, we are going to be looking at this newly released uh, Visit Wakunya LM. So for this model, they actually combined the uh, powerful Wakunya model, which was around 90% of the uh, ChatGPT quality, with this new model uh, Visit LM, which introduced a new uh, instruction following technique. Even though Visit LM is a very small model, but uh, it shows amazing results and performance. So I have separate videos both on Volcunia and Visit Ella. I would recommend you guys to check those out. So before looking at the uh, installation of uh, Text Generation Web UI, let's quickly go over what this Visit uh, Volcunia NM is. So this is a model which claims to improve um, the Volcunia performance by around 7%. So now they claim to uh, have the performance of almost 97% of the chat GPT, which is, uh, I think, a big claim. Now, in order to achieve a performance like that, they combine the approaches of Wizard NM and Wakunia. Wizard NM, a new approach for instruction following. So in this case, you train a large language model or you use a large language model to, uh, to create more complex instructions uh, for training your model. So here is an example. In this case, uh, let's say the GPT-4 was provided with an example conversation between human and chat GPT. And then it's asked to create uh, 10 more conversations where human asks question and chat GPT answers, right? So using this as a template, uh, GPT-4 created this whole conversation where human is asking question, chat GPT is responding. Then human again uh, is asking a question, chat GPT is responding, right? And this is a whole conversation that takes place between uh, human and chat GPT and the whole thing is created by GPT-4. So then they took a data set like that, feed into a Wakunia or fine tune the Wakunia model using the method that was proposed for Wakunia version 1.1. So the version 1.1 is actually the second version of Wakunia. Now, after training this on the conversations, they went ahead and compared the performance of ChatGPT visit Wakunia LM, Wakunia LM at the original visit LM and uh, use GPT-4 as the judge. So let's look at this, just an example. And uh, so the way it was done is that uh, chat GPT was given a question and responses from these different assistants. So assistant one is, I think, 
ChatGPT, then uh, there is a response from Assistant 2, right, and so on and so forth. And um, GPT-4 was basically asked to uh, judge it, right, and or score it out of 100, right. So here is just the score coming out from GPT-4. Uh, so, for example, in this case, like 91, 98, 85, right? Uh, so, it's not really a comprehensive scientific evaluation, but it's still a starting point where uh, GPT-4 is used as a judge. And based on these results, uh, according to the authors, they showed that uh, GPT, uh, chat GPT scored uh, on average 91, whereas Wakunia on a uh, scored 88, which is not really far behind, right? If you look at it, uh, then the original Wapunya is has scored 82, and Wizard uh, LM, which is only a seven a seven billion parameter model, it scored 80. So it's still a respectable score. But if you look at it, Wizard Wapunya is very close to uh, ChatGPT, at least on this evaluation data set. Now this gives you an idea of what type of model we are dealing with here. I might create a separate video on Wizard Wakunya Allen and compare it with Wakunya, but right now let's uh, see how we can write this locally. Okay, so let's go back to the text generation web UI. Uh, if you scroll down, there is an installation section where they provide a one click installer. So uh, it's provided for Windows, Linux, Mac OS. So depending on your operating system, simply choose the one that works for you. If you want to install it manually using Corda, so there are detailed step-by-step -step -step instructions, uh, so you can even go here. But to keep things very simple, I am going to be using this one-click installer. Now, I'll show you the installation uh, instruction for Windows, but, but uh, I am running this on a Linux machine because I have a GPU uh, on my Linux machine. So in order to install it on Windows, simply download the zip file and the instruction remains pretty consistent across the operating system so if I show you one you will be able to follow it uh, in, in another one okay so it downloaded the zip file or next we need to extract it so I'm gonna just say v2 because I already have one all right so um, after extracting it go to the folder now you will see there are a total of five files uh, one of them is a text file, so this gives you a detailed instructions of how to actually install it. So uh, you need to run the script uh, that uh, starts with start. So this is going to be start Windows or start Linux or start uh, Mac OS, right? So first we need to just run this. Now uh, it gives a warning, uh, so it's up to you whether you want to run this or not. All right, so I'm going to click on run anyway. Now, this step is going to take some time because it has to download um, a few files. So be uh, patient in the installation that it creates uh, another folder in the same base folder where it's downloading the installation files. Okay, next just ask you um, what type of hardware you have. So if you have an NVIDIA GPU, simply type in A for AMD, type B. Right? And if you are on uh, Apple Silicon, so type C. Uh, for this specific computer, I don't have a GPU, so I'm going to type in D. Uh, but uh, if you have a GPU, just uh, select the corresponding option. Now, once the installation is complete, you will see this new folder called uh, Text Generation Web UI. You can actually go in here, and there's a folder called Models. So you can uh, download the models here and just copy them, and it will work. Or there are a couple of other ways you can do it. So Let's say you simply click on Start Windows. Okay, now you're presented with a whole bunch of options. These are uh, pre-populated models. Uh, you can actually select one of them and it will download them. Or um, in this case, we are going to be manually uh, downloading a file from Hacking Face, right? So there is two ways you can download uh, models from Hacking Face. The one is which is listed here. So you simply select L. That means that manually specify a hugging face model, right? And it has to be uh, like in this format, the example you use it, and then the model name. Now, in this video, we want to uh, download the visit uh, with Kunya, uh model, right? So if you type in or like search for that model, so you would see this uh, second link. 
which is the block visit Vicuña 13 bit GTML. So you want to look for a model that has GTML uh, in it, right? And then you simply copy under the link. Now we go back to our command window, right? Type in that link or uh, paste that link, right? And then you can simply click enter. It will start downloading the model. Now once the download is complete, uh, you can go to the next step. Okay, once the installation is complete, simply run the start script again and it will uh, show you something like this. As I said, I'm on my other machine right now, but in this case, what it's doing is it's loading a model from models and the model name is the block visit Vacunia uh, 13 billion parameter mark, right? And there's a, a dot bin file which it's loading. Now, once the model is loaded, you will be actually presented with this IP address. This is your local host. So you can go to this IP address and uh, start interacting with your or text generation web UI. Right now, here's the IP address. I actually added uh, this extra text uh, to show this in, in dark theme. Right. Now, if you haven't used uh, the Ubabuba text generation web UI, so I'm going to simply walk you through different features in this introductory video. We are going to be making extensive use of uh, this web UI in upcoming videos, right? So first you have a tab of text generation where you simply type in your text and whatever model you choose, it will um, start generation text. So it's very simple. There are different modes. There's an instruct mode, a chat mode, and there's a Kai chat mode as one. Well. I'm not sure like what this one does, but I usually use the chat mode right and then like there are the normal options you can stop the generation uh you can click continue so similar to uh, chat gpt if it doesn't complete the response right you can regenerate the response uh, and then you can even impersonate uh, somebody right next option or the next tab is a character so here you can uh personalize your character or chat and chat assistant we're going to be looking at this in more details in upcoming videos Right. Uh, the next tab is uh, parameters, so you can set different parameters of your uh, text generation, and it's a very comprehensive. For example, you can uh, set the temperature, so that will control the creativity of the model. Then repetition penalty, how many like top K responses you want, right? So on and so forth. Uh, next, you have the model. I think this is the most interesting part. So if you have multiple models downloaded. They're going to be listed here and you can choose the model that you want. So for example, in this case, I have a Facebook model uh, and then this, uh, the visit Wakuni model that we just downloaded. Now, let me show you how you can actually add a new model. Uh, so rather than going to the um, uh, terminal or uh, the command line interface, you can actually copy the same uh, uh, path the username and the model path, like the way that we did uh, for our visit Wakonia model, and just click download and it will start downloading uh, the model. Let me show you how we can actually download another model using the web UI. So I actually saw uh, there is a new version of uh, visit Adam, which is supposedly uncensored. So I'm going to go here and copy this. This, this is the wizard and train with a subset of the data set. Response that, that contain alignment or moralizing word and move. The intent is to train a wizard and that doesn't uh, have alignment built in so that the alignment of any sort can be added separately, right? So I'm going to just download this to show you as an example, but we are going to be playing around with the original wizard Volcunia uh, and then for the time being, uh, I might actually make another video on this one, okay? So simply type in the path and click download and then it starts downloading your model. And you can even actually train a model or fine tune models here. So you can train your own LoRa uh, and this is a very powerful approach uh, to actually do it. So I might actually show you in an upcoming video how you can fine tune your own models using uh, this web UI. Now the next tab is interface mode. The text generation web UI takes a lot of inspiration from Automatic 11 and 11. Uh, and that's why you will, you probably will see a lot of similarities. So you can um, control how the interface looks like here. Okay, so now let's play with the model itself, right? 
so the first part is draft an apology email to a customer who experienced a delay in their order and provide reassurance that the issue has been resolved. Okay. So you simply type in your prompt and we do select chat and then click generate and let's see what uh, the model comes up with. Now I have an older GPU. I think I have a 1018 Ti. So that's why it's going to be pretty slow. Uh, depending on your hardware, you might uh, get to a different speed. Okay, so here's the sparse. Uh, it says we are ready this email to apologize for the delay in the processing your recent order. We understand how frustrating it can be when expected delivery times are not met, and we sincerely apologize for inconvenience calls. So it, it's a really uh, normal email that you would expect from a customer support team. And I think it did a decent job uh, with it. Okay, so next we're going to try this prompt. I saw somebody else actually use this to generate a uh, graphical calculator, right? So you use uh, Kinter and write Python code to create a basic calculator application with addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division functions. So let's see if it actually can, this can do it and if it works. Uh, for other LLMs, I've seen they uh, have trouble with this. Okay, so it came up with the code, so let's run the code. Okay, so it actually came up with a pretty simple, uh, basic interface. Let's see if it actually works. So I'm going to say 10, uh, let's say 3, right? Add. Oh, nice. Okay, you get a result. If you subtracted 7, so multiplication and division also works. This is pretty neat. I wasn't expecting that to work. Okay, so the next prompt. Uh, is create a list of three startup ideas in the enterprise B2B SaaS. The startup ideas should have a strong and compelling mission and also use AI in some way over cryptocurrency and blockchain. The startup ideas should have a cool and interesting name, right? So it actually started creating the response and, and I am running it in the chatbot because I want to ask it for the questions. So the first one is why build AI? This platform would use AI to help business is better understand their employees needs and preferences in order to create a more engaging and productive workforce. The mission of mine meld AI is to make an office, make the office a happier, healthier place for everyone involved. Interesting. That's the first time I have seen uh, smart sales AI. The SaaS platform uh, would use AI to help SaaS teams better understand their customers need and preferences in order to close these more effectively okay and brain bridge ai this platform would use ai to help companies bridge language barriers to provide real-time translation services for meetings and other communication channels this is interesting this is nice when you in the chat mode you can actually create different characters assign them personality and uh even assign them different images that you want to use in your characters so i'm going to uh, show you how to create characters in my upcoming video so stay tuned for that the goal of this video was to actually show you how to install and run this tech generation web UI but we looked at uh, the wizard of Kunia model as well i'm going to create a detailed video on this comparing with the Kunia and wizard of Kunia, right but this uh, text generation web ui is an excellent tool uh, for you to run your model locally uh, so I would recommend to play around with it if you have the hardware to run it. As always, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. If there are any specific topics you guys want me to con uh, cover, so uh, also put them in the comment section below. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.